All right, everybody, NBG here, and today I wanted to show you how to change your FOV in Call of Duty Ghosts. <clears throat> this game came without an FOV slider, and being a PC gamer uh, like myself, I love having an FOV of 90, so um, it was really difficult to get used to this game because the, by default the, defa the default FOV of this game is 65, which is ridiculous, so it's like having no peripheral vision, it's like you're looking down a sight all the time, it's ridiculous, so... I found a way to adjust it, and um, heads up, Infinity Ward doesn't like this mod at all. So they've been shutting down sites that have download links to this mod. So if by any chance this link right here doesn't uh, help you, either the, sh the site was shut down or they took the mod off, let me know and I'll try and find another site and I'll update the video. But um, installing this mod and using it is fairly simple, and you shouldn't be worried about Steam or Infinity Ward um, blocking your account or whatever you want to call it because it's more of a local thing um, you're not affecting other players you're just affecting um, your own game and I don't know you're, you're not gonna get in trouble just take my word for it so don't worry about that the only thing anyone should worry about is whoever made the mod because they're getting in trouble by Infinity Ward but that's not our problem so open up Google or not your Google but your internet browser and Here's the link right here. I'll have it in the description as well. All right, and here it is. This is the site. So this link right here, Call of Duty Ghosts FOV Changer. Click on it, and um, it'll start downloading. <clears throat> this is the newest version as of um, October 16th, 2013. And you're going to need WinRAR because it's going to come in a WinRAR or a zip file or whatever. So this is what will come in. Open it up. And um, ignore this right here. I actually did this for myself. I just copy and pasted the link to the site so I wouldn't forget. Um, it'll come with the README and it'll come with the actual mod itself. The README will basically just tell you uh, run this at your own risk. They're not responsible for your profile or your Steam account because they could be banned. But they're not going to be because this is kind of, a, like I said, a local thing. Like anti-cheat and all that shit. It, they're not going to detect it. Like when people are spectating you in first person view... Um, they won't be able to see that you have enough of a changer. Like I said, it's all local, only you can see it. Um, Alright, so then you open up the program, which is right here. I have it a shortcut on my... Oh, there's already an update. Wait, is available. Yeah, wow. So whenever you see this, I'm assuming you could just go to the site again and re-download it. Interesting. I don't know who would want an FOV of 100, though. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> I'm sure people run it, though. Alright, so as you can see, you have your choice of multiplayer and single player. Um, you can change your FOV right here. And you can have hotkeys. You just click <clears throat> disable hotkeys or enable them. Basically, in-game, you can change your FOV to your heart's desire. Um, and you can change the keys that are used. I'm using, uh, I don't know why it changed back, but I'm using page up and page down. And then home for default. Page up will basically add one to your FOV and page down will do the opposite. Um... You can turn beep on success. So basically what you would do is um, when you start the game right here, it will beep um, when it's working. <clears throat> Once the game starts, just to let you know so you didn't have to go through all the loading screens just to find out it didn't work, it'll actually beep the second the game loads up to let you know if it's working or not. And then you can notify when it's available for an update. <clears throat> so there's no surveys involved, there's no BS, it's no viruses. Um, straightforward. And... When you hit start game, this program will automatically seek out the EXE for Call of Duty Ghosts, and it'll launch it right away. So, I'm going to show that. So, start game. We'll, uh, we'll do multiplayer. Single player works the same. They're, they're both the same. Just make sure that you change the settings for both, because they have separate settings. Like, 85 in single player, it's still 90 in multiplayer. So, they're separate settings. Be sure to change it. So, multiplayer. I didn't get to record the beep because I couldn't start fraps up in time, but it beeps the very second the game starts up. And um, I'm going to show you in a public match just to prove that it works because I feel like if I go to a private match, people might not believe that it works in a, you know online. So, fun game, um, standard team death match. All right, match begins three. Uh, yep, all the loading screen still locks up. Typical Infinity Ward PC game. I can't even say that because COD 4 runs perfectly, so I don't know why this game doesn't. <clears throat> They're like the same games. <laughs> what did they change, really? <laughs> I hope this is proof enough that it works um, so far. 
Sure, I'll pick a gun. And as you can see, the FOV is pretty crazy. <clears throat> you can see more of your gun. You can see you to the right and left of you more. Um, to the right, you can see there's other players in the lobby, so improving it works. And when you aim in, you know, everything is perfect. But yeah, it's really nice, and it's easy to get used to as well. Unlike the default 65. But it's so nice, like you can see, to the right and left of you, so much better than before. Alright, hopefully this helped you. Again, if it doesn't work, the link, um, just leave a comment, and I'll be sure to change it. Peace.